Have you ever wondered if you're a true Sigma female? Well, you're definitely not one if you're doing this. Today, we're diving into the intriguing world of Sigma females. We'll explore the top three characteristics that define them and debunk some common misconceptions. And yes, we'll unveil that one thing that a true Sigma female would never do. Are you intrigued? Stay tuned as you may be in for a surprise. In this channel, we dive into the world of Stoicism, empowering you to live your life with a new perspective. It's all about resilience, wisdom, and inner strength. A world where you're not defined by societal expectations, but by your own values and principles. We're here to inspire, to provoke thought, and to challenge the status quo. So who is this Sigma female we're talking about? Let me enlighten you. The Sigma female is a woman who dances to her own tune, one who doesn't depend on societal norms to define her path. She's an introverted extrovert, a paradox, a riddle wrapped in a mystery inside an enigma, if you will. She's the woman who's comfortable in her solitude, who finds strength in her silence. She's not antisocial, but selectively social. She chooses her company wisely, valuing quality over quantity. Her circle may be small, but it's mighty. She's not one to follow the herd. Instead, she blazes her own trail, setting her own standards and breaking barriers. This woman is a leader, not by dictating, but by inspiring. Her quiet confidence is her signature, her resilience, her badge. The Sigma female doesn't need validation from others. Her self-worth comes from within. She's self-sufficient, independent, and unapologetically herself. She's the Mona Lisa of the social spectrum, a masterpiece that keeps you guessing. The Sigma female, my friends, is the embodiment of strength and grace, a perfect blend of humility and pride. She's not loud, but her presence echoes. She's not flashy, but her aura shines. She's not aggressive, but her spirit is fierce. The Sigma female is the woman who defines her success not by societal standards, but by her personal growth and happiness. She's the woman who lives by her rules, who writes her own story. She's the woman who understands that her journey is unique, and she wouldn't have it any other way. But the Sigma female is not a label, not a box to fit into. It's a state of mind, a way of life. It's about embracing your individuality, cherishing your solitude, and being unapologetically you. However, hold on. There's a lot of misinformation out there about Sigma females. Let's clear that up. First off, many people mistakenly believe that Sigma females are simply introverts. While it's true that Sigma women often prefer their own company to that of others, this doesn't mean they are introverted. They're just selective about who they spend their time with. They are perfectly capable of socializing and connecting with others, but they choose to do so on their own terms. Another common misconception is that Sigma females are cold and emotionless. This couldn't be further from the truth. Sigma women are highly intuitive and empathetic. They feel deeply and care passionately about their loved ones and the causes they believe in. It's just that they don't wear their hearts on their sleeves and prefer to process their emotions privately. Some also believe that being a Sigma female means you're a lone wolf, always on the outskirts, never part of the pack. But here's the truth, Sigma females can and do form deep, meaningful relationships. They're just not dependent on these relationships for their sense of worth or happiness. They're self-sufficient and comfortable in their own skin. Lastly, there's the idea that Sigma females are aloof or arrogant. This is a gross misunderstanding. Sigma women are confident, yes, but they are also humble. They know their worth, but they don't feel the need to flaunt it. They are securing themselves and don't seek validation from others. So let's get this straight. Sigma females are not introverted, emotionless lone wolves or arrogant. They are independent, intuitive, self-sufficient and humble. They march to the beat of their own drum and aren't afraid to stand out from the crowd. 
Now that we have debunked the myth, let's delve deeper into what a Sigma female is not. You believe you are a Sigma female? Well, you're definitely not one if you're doing these things. Let's debunk some misconceptions about being a Sigma female. It's not about being perfect, it's about striving for growth. So if you're guilty of any of these, don't fret. Awareness is the first step to change. Firstly, Sigma females are not people pleasers. They don't seek validation from others. They are self-assured and validate themselves. If you're constantly seeking others' approval, bending over backwards to fit in, you're not embodying the Sigma spirit. Secondly, Sigma females are not followers. They are leaders in their own right. They don't follow the crowd or cave into peer pressure. They are independent thinkers who make their own decisions and stand by them. If you find yourself always going with the flow, unable to make decisions without consulting others, then you may not be a Sigma female. Thirdly, Sigma females are not reactive. They are proactive and take responsibility for their actions. They don't play the blame game or make excuses. If you're always pointing fingers, playing the victim, or waiting for things to happen instead of making them happen, then you're definitely not a Sigma female. Fourthly, Sigma females are not idle dreamers. They are doers. They set goals and work hard to achieve them. They don't just dream about success, they strive for it. If you're always daydreaming about what could be without putting in the effort to make it a reality, then you're not a Sigma female. Lastly, Sigma females are not afraid of solitude. They enjoy their own company and don't need constant social interaction to feel fulfilled. They are comfortable in their own thoughts and aren't afraid to spend time alone. If you're always seeking companionship, unable to enjoy your own company, then you're not a Sigma female. Remember, being a Sigma female is not about being superior or inferior to anyone else. It's about being confident in who you are, independent, goal-oriented, and comfortable in your own skin. It's about breaking away from societal expectations and carving your own path. Now, I'm sure many of you are thinking, but wait, I do some of these things. Does that mean I'm not a Sigma female? Not necessarily. The key is self-awareness and growth. It's about recognizing these behaviors and working to change them. It's okay to fall short. We all do. The important thing is to keep striving for growth. And before we move on, if you're finding this content valuable, do consider subscribing to the channel Eternal Stoicism. It's a simple click for you, but means a lot to us. So, are you guilty of any of these? It's okay if you are. Awareness is the first step to change. So, you've identified some non-Sigma traits in yourself, but fret not. Change is within your grasp. This is the moment when you take a step towards the transformation, towards embracing the Sigma female persona. Imagine a butterfly before it emerges from its cocoon. It's a caterpillar, inching along, limited to the world it can reach. But once it transforms, it has the freedom to explore, to fly. Just like the butterfly, you too can undergo a transformation. You can shed your non-Sigma traits and embrace the freedom of being a Sigma female. Let's dive into some practical tips and advice on how to begin this transformation. First and foremost, embrace solitude. Sigma females are independent and comfortable being alone. They enjoy their own company and don't seek validation from others. So, start to cultivate a love for your own company. Spend time alone. Engage in activities that you enjoy. This will help you grow more comfortable with solitude. Next, develop your self-confidence. Sigma females are self-assured. They know their worth and they don't let others define them. So, start to recognize your own worth. Celebrate your achievements, no matter how small they might seem. Each achievement, each success, is a testament to your strength and capabilities. 
Moving on, let's talk about resilience. Sigma, females are resilient. They face challenges head on and don't let setbacks deter them. So when you face a setback, don't let it get you down. Instead, see it as an opportunity to learn, to grow. Remember, it's not about how many times you fall, but about how many times you get up. Furthermore, Sigma females are open-minded. They are willing to consider different perspectives and they're not afraid to challenge their own beliefs. So, foster an open mind. Be willing to listen to others, to consider their points of view. Challenge your own beliefs, question them. This will help you grow and evolve. Lastly, Sigma females are self-sufficient they don't rely on others for their happiness or success. So, strive to develop your self-sufficiency, learn new skills, take on new challenges. This will not only make you more capable, but also more confident. Remember, it's not about becoming someone else, but about discovering who you truly are. It's about shedding the non-Sigma traits that have been holding you back and embracing your true potential. And no transformation happens overnight. It's a journey, a process. It requires patience and persistence. So, don't be disheartened if you don't see immediate results. Keep going, keep growing. With each step, you're getting closer to becoming the Sigma female you aspire to be. Remember, transformation is a journey, not a destination. Patience and persistence are key. As you embark on this journey of transformation, remember the essence of a Sigma female lies not in her solitude, but in her strength, her resilience, her open mind, and her self-sufficiency. So are you ready to embrace the Sigma female persona? Are you ready to transform? Being a Sigma female is not just about the individual, it's about the influence you wield. This statement holds a deep truth. A Sigma female with self-sufficiency and independence is a force to be reckoned with. She not only shapes her own world, but also has the power to mold the environment around her. Imagine the Sigma woman in a social gathering. She doesn't seek validation nor does she crave attention. Instead, she exudes a quiet confidence that draws people in. Her unique charisma and mysterious aura leave an indelible mark on those around her. She's not just a person, she's an experience. Her energy, her vibe, they're contagious. And that's exactly where her influence lies. Now, let's take this a step further. Let's consider the Sigma woman in the grand tapestry of society. She's not one to conform to societal norms. Rather, she creates her own. She questions. She challenges. She disrupts. She is a catalyst for change. Her influence is not just limited to her immediate surroundings. It permeates through society, causing a paradigm shift. The Sigma woman's power lies in her ability to be a trendsetter, an influencer. She doesn't follow the crowd, she leads it. She is the one who sets the tone, who decides the direction. People look up to her, they admire her, they aspire to be like her. But here's the catch. The power of a Sigma woman is not about dominance or control. It is about empowerment. It's about inspiring others to find their own path, to embrace their individuality, to challenge the status quo. The Sigma woman leads by example. She shows us that it's okay to be different, to be ourselves. So the next time you find yourself in a situation where you can influence others, remember this. You, as a Sigma woman, have the power to create a positive ripple effect around you. You have the power to inspire, to motivate, to lead. Harness this power and use it to create a positive ripple effect around you. So after this exploration, do you think you are a true Sigma female? We've journeyed together through the fascinating world of Sigma females, breaking down misconceptions, exploring characteristics, and discussing the transformation journey. We've discovered that being a Sigma female isn't about fitting into a box or adhering to a specific set of rules. It's about being self-sufficient, independent, and unapologetically yourself. 
We've learned that a Sigma female isn't defined by what she does, but who she is. She doesn't seek validation from others. Rather, she's self-validating. She's an introvert, not because she's shy, but because she values her solitude and the freedom it brings. She's a non-conformist, marching to the beat of her own drum, not afraid to stand alone. But remember, it's not about being superior or inferior to others. It's about embracing your unique path, your individuality, and your independence. So, as we wrap up, I invite you to reflect upon all that we've discussed today. Do these traits resonate with you? Do you see yourself in the Sigma female? If so, I encourage you to embrace it, to nurture it, to let it guide you in your journey towards self-empowerment. And if you found value in this discussion, if you're inspired and want to learn more about eternal stoicism, consider subscribing to the channel. Remember, the journey towards self-empowerment is not a destination, but a continual process of growth and self-discovery. So keep exploring, keep questioning, and most importantly, keep growing. So are you a true Sigma female? Leave a comment below and share your thoughts. Now that we've explored the essence of the Sigma female and the transformative journey toward embracing this persona, let's take a moment to reflect on the impact of embodying these qualities in our daily lives. Imagine waking up each morning with a sense of purpose, knowing that you are living authentically and unapologetically as a Sigma female. You approach each challenge with resilience, knowing that setbacks are opportunities for growth. You navigate social situations with confidence, secure in the knowledge that your worth is not dependent on external validation. As a Sigma female, you become a beacon of inspiration to those around you. Your strength, independence and authenticity serve as a guiding light for others who may be searching for their own path. Your influence extends far beyond your immediate circle, sparking positive change and empowering others to embrace their unique identities. But remember, being a Sigma female is not about perfection. It's about embracing your journey of growth and self-discovery. It's about recognizing your strengths, acknowledging your weaknesses, and striving to become the best version of yourself. So whether you're just beginning to explore the Sigma female mindset, or you've been on this journey for some time, know that you are not alone. Together we can continue to support and uplift one another as we embrace our individuality and empower ourselves and others to live with authenticity and purpose. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of what it means to be a Sigma female. Remember to like, share and subscribe for more empowering content. And until next time, embrace your uniqueness, embrace your journey and embrace the Sigma female within you. This is Motivation Today. Thanks for watching and stay blessed.